Win like a monster with the new Sweatproof Monster Eye Sport headphones. On ear, in ear, wired, Bluetooth. Find your style. Just go to plughitslive.com slash monster. Hey guys, Scott here with Plug Hits Live, part of the Tech Podcast Network. I'm here at CES 2017 at the Amped Energy booth with Brandon, and I have a bit of a wally looking white thing behind me. What have we got going on here? We've got the Amped Silo is what it's called. It's, it's called a silo. Um, what it is, it's a really big power bank for buildings. It's really designed for mission critical applications in parts of the world where power isn't as stable as it needs to be for things like a hospital, an airport, a server room, public infrastructure to, to run uh, to efficiently and effectively. Out, even outside of that, I can think of a couple of places. You know, India is a place that has power problems, and there's a lot of call centers there. This is the kind of thing that could help them stay in business too. Absolutely, absolutely. In fact, call centers is actually big for us in India and, and, and in Philippines. So we actually launched just three weeks ago um, in India, Indonesia, and Philippines. Uh, so we're tr really trying to address markets where power isn't as stable as, say, for example, here in the U.S. Because this city wouldn't quite survive if the power was that of, say, India. No, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a huge cost for businesses, right? In Indonesia alone, according to a PwC report in 2014, it costs manufacturing sector over 400 million U.S. dollars, you know, blackouts, right? Cost the manufacturing sector over 400 million U.S. dollars. According to the World Bank, it costs the global economy 4.7% of uh, total sales. Uh, for businesses globally. So unreliable power is a massive problem that hasn't really been solved effectively and we're trying to do something about it. Well, it's a great problem to try and solve at nearly 5% of business sales down the tube. Globally, yeah. So how does this guy accomplish that goal? So what it does is it, it connects to the grid, it charges up when the grid's available, it stores that energy and releases that energy when the grid goes down, for example. Uh, it's a really advanced lithium-ion battery system uh, that has, uh, well, multiple patent-pending technologies that we've developed independently um, that focus a lot on addressing issues like safety, durability, thermal management, cooling, um, and obviously cost. How do we bring the system, down, the system cost down without cutting corners, basically, by being smarter about how we design and engineer the whole thing? So I guess let's talk about a couple of the early topics there. Um, so how does it work? I know that there's, like with a generator, there's a couple of ways that it can work. It can be a, a switch over or a direct failover. How does this one work? Yeah, so there are, there are actually two ways that the system could work. Um, it, it, there, there's a transfer mechanism. So if I actually press on this, you know, this control panel over here, the control home screen, as switch modes. There are two modes over here. There's the eco mode and there's, there's the instant mode. The eco mode gives you slightly higher levels of efficiency, but there's a transfer time of about four milliseconds. So a blink of an eye is about 100 milliseconds, so it's still really quick. Um, instant mode gives you instant transfer from you know, grid power to battery power. Basically, power is just running through the battery all the time. It's discharging and charging the battery at the same time. So it gives you instant transfer times, uh, which for things like a hospital or an airport or a data center is absolutely, absolutely critical. Right, because that four milliseconds is going to turn off equipment. No, exactly. It could turn off, it could damage equipment, and that could cost millions, right, for, for businesses like a data center. Sure. Oops. Yeah, for a hospital. For a hospital, yeah. right. So, um, what, is the, what is the difference between running it in, in eco versus instant? Yeah, so with eco mode, you get slightly higher efficiencies. You get about 97, 98% efficiency, um, you know, amount of energy in versus amount of energy coming out. Uh, with instant mode, you get anywhere from 90 to 94 percent efficiency. Um, so you lose like, you know, some efficiency, but for some applications, that's a worthwhile trade-off to save a life or to save millions of dollars if you lose your, you know, your equipment in your data center or your data in your data, data center, for example. Sure. Uh, that perfectly reasonable to me. Yeah. How much power does this have? So like, yeah. if we're a data center, how long is it going to run like this? Is it? Yeah. Is it designed to do like a short blackout or is it designed to do, you know, the Rio's been down for three days? Right. Well, we're really targeting uh, applications where that, that experience short 
uh, and frequent uh, blackouts. Um, so, uh, you know, for example, in Indonesia, you can reasonably expect a blackout once a week. It's not going to last anything more than three hours. So we're really sort of targeting segments uh, where you don't have to run a system like this for more than three, four, five, six hours kind of thing. Anything more than that, uh, there are other options out there that make a lot more sense. So there are applications, that, uh, there are scenarios where you have blackouts that run for days. Uh, but they don't happen frequently, they happen once every three years kind of thing. Uh, there are other products out there that are really optimized and better suited for that. Gotcha, so so this is really good for those frequent quick hits. Exactly, exactly right, yeah. So what's the, what's the cost on something like this? Sure, a unit like this, which holds 17 kilowatt hours of energy, powers up to 20 kilowatts uh, in, terms of, uh, in terms of load. Uh, it, it starts at 8,800 US dollars. We're going to start manufacturing and delivering the units to customers around March, April this year. Uh, and we're starting in India, Indonesia, uh, and uh, Philippines. Uh, and we're looking to expand our sales and distribution network uh, very, very uh, rapidly, uh, regionally, uh, over the next couple of months. So obviously this is not exactly a consumer electronic, which might be why we don't use the words in the logo anymore. <laughs> but sure. but um, so who, obviously we know the three countries you're working in right now, but if you were to expand, who would be, what markets would you be most interested in? Yeah, I mean, we're, you know, if, if a homeowner comes up to one of our distributors and says, I want one of these, you know, we're not gonna, we're not gonna stop them from, from you know, selling a, selling a unit, uh, but we're, we're certainly not really, we're not pushing the consumer angle uh, really hard because we're trying to find markets where um, we add a lot of value. Um, a lot of value. So, you know, if if a hospital loses power, that's a, a much much bigger problem than if a house is a house loses power, for example. Um, so, we're really focused on mission critical applications that need dependability of power supply, and that's really the core market segment that we're focused on. Geographically, doesn't really matter because you're going to find mission critical applications even in parts of the world where power is extremely stable. If one of these mission critical applications is interested in finding out more about your product, how can they do that? Well, they can visit our website. It's www.amped.energy, A M P D, so we drop the E. Amped.energy is our website. So feel free to uh, check our website out. Feel free to get in touch with us. Uh, contact at amped.energy. Fantastic. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk Thanks to so us much. today. Thanks so much. Been a pleasure. For continuing CES 2017 coverage, stay tuned to PlugHitsLive.com.